qu'est-ce que le capitaine Ce n'est pas un soldat. C'est un poisson avec des écailles, des grandes écailles, vraiment dorées, au lever du soleil. Et puis c'est une merveille le soir au coucher du soleil. People, they always talk about the sun of Africa, the colors of the sun that you would not see elsewhere. And I think it's true. The bush is what it is. You know, there's no change in it. It's always going to be somewhere where you can So this one had me super captivated, super excited right off the bat. Um, I loved the images and the music. Uh, the pacing was really, really exciting, and that sort of had me on the edge of my seat. Um, I also... Um, I really liked that there was some room for comedy at the beginning, so uh, the guy making the hippo noises and the one who ripped his pants, um, it was very human and relatable and uh, really made me care about the people that were in the documentary. Um, and then of course the satisfaction of the big catch at the end was fantastic. Uh, I was all leading up to that moment and we, we got it. Um, yeah, I think it was a, just a really interesting uh, documentary. I don't think I would normally be that captivated by fish, but uh, call me hooked. This was phenomenal. I enjoyed this very much, more than any other documentary of nature that I've seen in some time. I think part of the reason is that it allows you to draw your own conclusions. You aren't forced into thinking a certain way about what was presented. They give you a con conservation piece. There's the storytelling of the people actually fishing, the country itself thought that was phenomenal. Also lots of cool shots with the moon with the branches in the foreground and then changing directly to the guys fishing at night. Kept me on my toes, but I was also just intrigued by what was being said. And uh, showed the importance through both captivating me and also giving information. I thought that was a very good balance. Like when they said, you know, the same word Capitan is used across several different French countries. Things like that, um, details that you don't always get in documentaries. Uh, I can honestly like. say I think this is the first nature film I've viewed where it played like a thriller. Uh, honestly, I was on the edge of my seat through most of the film. Uh, and a lot of uh, that had to do with the music, uh, which was very effective at, at, at creating this tension that was going on in the film. Uh, so the music was very, very effective at driving the, the, the film along. Um, I also appreciated those moments where the music dropped out and it became a soundscape. Uh, all the sounds of the local uh, animals, because uh, that had its own spooky quality as well. Particularly glad to realize uh, during it that it was um, that all the fish were released, or let's say most of them, but the the big fish that they were after were released, and it was just um, c catching them and admiring the beauty of these animals. Um, these it was fish. An exciting short film. I mean, um, watching. Watching this, these guys journey through the, through this African wilderness to try to find this one f big fish. The shots were beautiful. The drone shots they had, really, really nice. And then when they actually got the fish at the end, like I was literally jumped out of my my couch. I was like, "Oh my god, look at that fish!" Just it it really swept me up. I thought it was a good good piece. We get a glimpse into the life of these fishermen as they explore that river, looking for potential. Uh, fishery opportunities and they also touch on the conservation efforts that they're making there which is very admirable and uh, all in all I found it very interesting um, um, and yeah I just thought it was really great and of course the accents are delightful that always helps but uh, aside from that it's actually very cool very interesting and good on them for the efforts they're making out and there. They are creating awareness and helping the conservationists to do a better job about nature and how we should all take care of nature for our own sake. I like how the team of fishers are excited and they have these creative ideas um, to catch the fish and then they have uh, also creative ideas on how to film this because most of their um, scenes are on the night but I like it and I hope this really creates awareness and help them build a better place. I thought this film was just stunningly beautiful to watch. I will admit that I don't know anything about 
fly fishing and perhaps even less about Cameroon. <laughs> um, but I really appreciated being taken along on this journey because I think it's just um, a particular hobby or sport or practice, whatever you want to call it, that I would have probably never otherwise been exposed to. So I feel like I learned a lot about something I truly knew nothing of, and it was just so incredibly beautiful to watch. Cinematically, like the cinematography for this was ridiculous. I absolutely loved it. I thought that the way they showcased a part of the world that not a lot of people get to experience, and they even talked about it that at the very beginning, that the like African bush is like a different kind of world. It's a different kind of if you're gonna be out there, it's a different kind of life. Like and the shots that they had were gorgeous and it really did a great job of showcasing the beauty in this part yeah, of the world. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I thought that it was awesome. It was just you know, the breathtaking um like drone shots of the the uh was the Faro River, the Faro River and um yeah all all of the fish and just wildlife shots in general were amazing it was such a compelling story uh in general too and it really shows um you know how much respect that these uh hunters and fishermen have for the species that they are uh capturing yeah, i yeah. thought that it was a very compelling uh documentary and it was super efficient with its time um and also just a really interesting soundtrack too like the kind of like hard rock rock or like whatever you want to do like techno kind of but like the heavy distortion was a really interesting choice and i felt yeah it just it did even more to just kind of like zone you in and um yeah i really enjoyed it great job well wow, overall the the footage in this documentary is so cool like the visuals the of the wildlife, the fish, under, the cool underwater shots, the hippos. Just, it made, I wanted to be there and go and, you know, going fishing at night. I mean, hearing this, even the sound, the sounds of like the, the animals and, or the crocodiles and everything. It was, it was really cool. And at the end, that, that cool scene where, where they captured that big fish, that was nice. <laughs> it was kind of action, action packed documentary so you know documentaries are usually kind of stale um but they did a good job making this cool like something cool to watch and i appreciate the intel given i enjoyed watching capitan you know seeing all the size of fish that they encountered and just all the wildlife was just africa is just a beautiful place uh, i thought this was really fascinating uh Africa is so different from the rest of the world. I, I just wish filmmakers would spend more time there telling more of these amazing stories that we just never hear about. You know, I thought it was a great job they did with the drone, using that for uh, you know really uh, dramatic uh, photography and video. And also, uh, I thought the music really added to the suspense and the drama to the piece as well. So... Um, overall, I thought it was a beautiful film, and also I thought it was well done to tell a story about different things that are going on there. And uh, it's like I said, it's so different from what we see in America or Canada or anywhere in the eastern or the western hemisphere. You know, seeing something from Africa is something that um, you know always opens everyone's mind. So I'd love to see more from you guys.